And I think if we can offer them the best locally grown food, and that's not just fresh produce, that's everything that we can put into a school lunch tray. I think our community benefits and the students benefit and our dollars stay right in the community. Huron is a town in eastern South Dakota with about 3,000 students and we serve around 700 breakfasts and 2,200 lunches every day. We have a very strong desire to have as much local food as possible. So in 2023, we hired a farm to school coordinator and just that's her focus is getting all of the local products. My name is Carla Savel. I am the farm to school coordinator. Local foods for us are featured mostly in our lunch menus and for our fresh fruit and vegetable program in the afternoon. We are fortunate to be one of the last school districts in the state that does all of their fresh bread baking. We have used locally grown wheat milled into flour. We've used that in our bread and we've got several pieces of equipment that make each part of that process very efficient. So we can do hamburger buns, hot dog buns, and we make our own pizza crust as well. All of it being freshly baked each day, all whole grain. On my way to work every day, I saw the Beetle Conservation District and I finally just called and said, what's going on in the greenhouse? And that partnership began. We have purchased a lot of fresh produce from our local growers. We're prepared to pay a little bit more for those items because we know that we're getting a better product picked and served within hours. We are here on Plainview Farm, north of Bryant, South Dakota. We are the Beverages. I'm Brita Beverage. I'm Colin Beverage. This is Leif, Mills, August, and Theo. And we're the crew. Early on, we got connected with the Huron School District and that has just grown. I remember sitting down with them and just kind of hearing about what had been done and what the school would like. The produce that we grow for the school that has worked best is, is leafy greens because it can be such a long season. The root crops like carrots, beets, turnips, radishes. The reason being like we can maximize those shoulder seasons of spring and fall. Carla in particular wants more fruit and we've, we've got 20 apple and pear trees sitting in our walk-in cooler right now ready to be planted but we wouldn't really have the confidence to invest in those ways if that relationship wasn't there with the, the people in the kitchen. It's a relationship that's more than just food, that's for sure. We are featuring fresh butter lettuce today for our fresh fruit and vegetable program, a grant program that we apply for each year and it gives each student in the elementary grades an opportunity to taste something fresh that they may not otherwise have the chance to do so. This is butter lettuce. What is butter lettuce? Maybe lettuce with butter? Lettuce with butter, almost. Do you see butter on your lettuce? <laughs> butter lettuce doesn't have a buttery flavor, but it does have a silky soft texture that feels like it's melting in your mouth. It's just another way for me to incorporate more of our standards, our content, more ways to think about how food actually works. That's the goal that I have in mind. And then of course we try it, which is fun. <laughs> you ready to taste it? Is there anybody who wants to go buy it? You're sold on it? You're like, yep, we're gonna get this kind of lettuce now. Today we got butter lettuce for a vegetable. I think it's kind of cool trying it at the school. It's like you can taste their hard work that they put into it. Kids notice a difference. Parents will notice a difference. And I think we as school lunch leaders should be on the forefront of real food. Just knowing where our produce is going creates a lot of purpose and fulfillment for Excitement. us. Excitement. Yeah. I would just like to encourage all schools to take a chance, try just one fresh item at your schools one time. Once you do it once, you're gonna think, well, oh, that really wasn't so bad. And by the time that you do it two or three times, you're gonna be hooked.